is Dr. Basil Ramlawi, and on behalf of John Forrest, my co-principal investigator of the low-risk bicuspid TAVR study and the other um, uh, screening committee, I'd like to um, introduce to you the results of our trial. As we all know, low-risk uh, self-expanding TAVR has now been approved in all risk classification for patients with severe aortic stenosis. However, bicuspid aortic valve morphology has been excluded from all of these studies due to concerns with regards to technical implantation of the valve, asymmetric morphology, and concerns with overcalcification of bicuspid valve patients. So our assessment for uh, uh, the purpose of this trial was to really look at that specific population of bicuspid aortic valve stenosis, looking at the primary safety and efficacy endpoints of all-cause mortality and disabling stroke, as well as safety outcomes with the study. And we included 150 patients following a screening committee assessment locally, as well as the National Screening Committee from looking at um, the true bicuspid valve nature of the valve on CT scan with adjudication of all data from an echocardiographic core lab prospectively. So this was a prospective single arm interventional study. And we were pretty happy to report that we achieved a um, overall uh, endpoint of 1.3% of overall death and disabling stroke in this population, which was very low and consistent with the main low-risk trial that was done in low-risk TAVR patients. Moreover, the hemodynamic assessment was excellent with achieving single-digit gradients that was maintained at the time of implantation through the 30-day follow-up endpoint, and zero uh, moderate or severe aortic insufficiency in that patient population. So the vast majority of these patients did extremely well with mild or less aortic insufficiency. There was also very low rates of uh, patient prosthesis mismatch. And um, overall, the, uh, the interesting finding was that type 0 Sievers classification and type 1 Sievers classification achieved, achieved very similar outcomes and excellent results across both bicuspid valve morphologies, which was somewhat of an un, un, um, you know, unusual finding and somewhat that we didn't expect. So really, this uh, achieved our primary endpoint. We had, had excellent results with the low-risk self-expanding valve with uh, excellent 95% success rate, uh, low uh, disabling stroke and mortality at 1.3% with no severe or moderate aortic insufficiency. And this data would clearly be followed up for uh, 10 years as would be expected to confirm this very early results in long-term patient populations. So very good data for the bicuspid lower tavern patients.